Welcome back, D Gen Y C. We're feeling better. We're upbeat. It is week nine. Nah. The books were not ours. We're still alive. Oh yeah. We also got it's... killed. Well, yeah, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that, but we're still here. We're back. Oh wait, it's the week five... eight. It's week eight. Is it week eight? It's week eight. Ah, whatever you say. We never get the <laughs> We never get it. We never get the fucking week, right? But whatever. How you been? You know what? Pretty okay. Okay. Right. I woke up to a text this morning from my good friend, Dylan Ward. I'm not afraid to name drop him. He's a good friend of mine. He texted me this morning at 8 in the morning. He said, still not over the Houston loss. I'm not either. I wanted to put on a brave <laughs> face for the kids. Uh, like, it was like one of those things. It must be like how I feel like this is like how like someone that like lost like lost like a like a husband at war. Like, I'm just like going along with my normal day. And yes. then I just remember it. it just ruins my whole fucking Like, I was having a perfectly nice day and then I thought about it. I have to come home and just like drown myself in like Jim Beam as I'm cooking Kraft mac and cheese for the kids. The the worst thing about it was at my work the next day, like we have like a TV like right off there that like displays oh, like ads God. and stuff. And it just showed. I'm, I saw the Hail Mary 30 times. I watched it every time thinking it would change differently. Thinking, yeah, they're going to tip this ball yeah. down. And like the worst part was my boss, like I guess she was like watching it or something. And like, I guess she must have like seen the score over the bed. And she's like, She's like, why? She's like, are you in a good mood? I'm like, no. And she's like, oh, I told her. She's like, no. And she watched it happen. She was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, you know what? I should have known. Well, when did she go to bed? Did she somehow fall asleep between the five seconds that we had the lead and then lost it? She turned it off. She said, there's no way they can lose this game. Click. (laughs) But That's great. Well, there's no way they lose this. No, well, she should have known. But we're going to bury that football. Megapod today. Huh? Megapod. Megapod today. today. We're going to go into a re- recap of last week. Listen, our hearts I want to recap some games that we didn't even bet on, too. Get, let, let me do this. All right. Let me go over because I want to bury this, and then we're going to go to good Bury vibe. the football. I'll let we're you get the last word because I'm okay. over it. I'm over right. it. Bury the so football. Here was, here was last week. Uh, it, this was actually our first combined losing week all year. So whether it's week eight or week nine. I got murdered. Play. I got murdered off book. Murdered. Like I Hurricane, actually, Hurricane Sandy. Kid. Other than other than Colorado, I had a pretty strong week off off pod, and I will also okay. bet thinking that was a win. Uh, I'll send you two slips later. I had Colorado minus one on two slips, and I would have won over six hundred bucks. And one of the worst part is, I did them on a sports book where if the team gets up seventeen, they grade it as a win, but I played it as minus one instead of the money line. So there we go. I'll never make that mistake again. But what book does that? Bet three sixty five. I they need to come to New York. They sound awesome. They're a pretty good book. They'd, they'll get some crazy props. But all right, let's let's go last week. Remember when like, we came to your house for men's retreat last year? Yeah, we all and, did then, that. and we all put all $365 on like Kansas basketball and they got killed. They lost. Yeah. yeah. That was that was when my cousin ate like about 65 chicken wings and got a bus boy with uh disabilities. Maybe fired? <laughs> Maybe fired. We don't know. We don't know. He just said burger fries. Burger fries and uh and we're not talking that's not talking about the kid with disability. That's no, how no. that's that's Yenter's cousin. Let's talk about the doctor. He is a doctor. All right. Well, let's get into this because I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, but yeah. Sorry. Wake minus one and a half. That was a loser. That made UNLV, me sick. They that made me sick. I'll talk about it later. Go ahead. UNLV minus nine and a half winner. All right. Rutgers minus five. They won by I think four. Yeah, they won by three, I think. Three, three. But Lose they were them. down by a billion. They didn't deserve and to they cover. All the way back. They didn't deserve to cover. And then this one hurts. Oregon plus three push. So I'll take Frankie that. Dimes, one, two, and one. He's down two units, but guess what? He's still up 15 and a half units. So stop. Pretty good. That's pretty good. He's still up. He's still up huge. Yenzer last week had Kentucky minus two and a half. Loser. My Oregon plus 10 under 64 AM. That was an easy winner. K State minus one and a half winner. My over Michigan. Utah money line, Colorado money line, three team parlay. Colorado killed us. I no longer believe. I was two and two on the week. Frankie was one, two and one. That's a combined. What is that? Uh, three, five and one. We lost two units. I broke even last week, so we are yeah. still sitting at over twenty units up on the year. Yens are four, about four point five and some change. Dimes fifteen and a half. It's pretty still good. Still up money, and we're gonna get back. We're gonna get back over that hump today. That's pretty good. I believe in us this week. I'm a little bit more confident in the board this week. Um, that being said, like, if if you say something that I like, I'm not opposed to adding it. Like, that's where I am with the board this week. 
I have some good plays. I have some stuff that I like. I have actually, I'm going to, I feel like I'm like a tout for like one of the sports because I actually have a same game parlay. We well, don't think we've ever done that on the pod. I don't think we've ever given SGPs. SGPs. So I think I got an SGP I like, but you take it away. Let me know what you're thinking. And let's I want to, I would like to go back because okay. sometimes in life in order to go forwards, you got to get back. It's true. Um, I want to talk about, a couple of pod plays. I'm going to talk about a couple of games that just happened and, and what we see in the college football landscape. I love that. I love that. Um, off pod. I want to say it. I took UMass plus 42 and a half. Wow. They lost 63 to nothing. They did. They did. Wasn't uh, enough points. Um, I had a lot on USC. They got killed. Uh, we can hear the worst beat of the weekend with that USC. Yeah, go I ahead. Had the last leg of a parlay, I had uh, Caleb Williams over 1.5 touchdowns passing. That was the last leg. Oh. Easiest leg didn't come in. Bro, I'm like, I might be more of a Drake May believer than a Caleb Williams believer. We'll get into that later. Okay. We'll get into that. Uh, later. North Carolina looked really good. I'm on yeah. them. I think I might be on them. Nah, they play Virginia. It's 24 and a half. I don't know. Uh, here's a game, the classic. Oh, look what happened. Louisville getting killed at Pitt to a backup yeah. quarterback. What do you think about that? That game, that game stunk, and I'm so glad I didn't play it because there was something about that line that I looked at all week, and I was like, how easy would yeah, it be? Yeah, it's to too easy. It's easy. too easy. Yep. Right. And that's just classic Pitt winning a game that they shouldn't, but – so. Um, what do you think about Arizona hammering 44 points on Wazoo, 44 to six former Heisman uh, candidate, Cam Ward looking not great. Honestly, the whole, the, now we're getting a part of the year where the PAC 12 is just truly wonky. So mm -hmm. once again, one of those things where I think this is an important thing for us to remember is college football is a week to week sport. So even if a team gets yeah. killed one week, yeah, you, know, you kind of got to you kind of got to just do like we do. You got to forget about it because there's so many different matchups that could go wrong. But I'm not too concerned. I think we do see some bounce back. I think you can't read into much to one week. You know, it's nice to take some trends, nice to see what's it. But as long as the injuries right. or guys aren't missing, it's just one of those things where you got to remember these are 18, 19 year old kids. Some might not get up for a game, and you know it's hard to play 13 They're just kids. Eight weeks. Yeah, like in the NFL, you see you see blowouts in the NFL, and you see good teams lose. Doesn't mean they're a bad team. It's just you have a way less of a margin for error in college. One win means a lot more than in pros. Uh, three scores real quick. Illinois beating Maryland 27-24. The Maryland hype is now dead. Maryland is doing yep. Maryland things and mm -hmm. just completely blowing it. You have a bad team at home in the snake pit, and you just fall asleep. And you, I think you had brought it up earlier in the year, maybe, where Maryland had kind of played with their food a little bit mm -hmm. before scoring. They could score 21 yep. and a quarter with ease. But they had to just mess around. We were, and then we were talking they... about how that was a great second half team to bet. There was a lot. Like, I think one time we were out. I was out to dinner and I came home and yeah. Maryland was like up six points. I think I texted you. I was like, I'm hammering Maryland. Yeah, and me too. And scored three times. Yep. But that's just a team where they don't really have the defense that, that can, you know, win them games. So if the offense is sleepwalking, it's going to be tough. But I still like Maryland as an off. That's a fun team to play when both the defenses are that's bad. That's a it's fun team to roll play. over. But. Uh, Caden Prate, their top receiver, six catches, 70 yards, one touchdown. Could have used him in the golden blue. Speaking of bad defense, South Carolina straight up blowing it against Florida, 39 41. Two fourth down conversions for Graham Mertz and the Gators in the fourth mm -hmm. quarter. There was one play, it was fourth and 11 or fourth and 13. Uh, Florida completed the pass behind the line of scrimmage on fourth down. And they got the first down to continue. I had two South Carolina guys text me, uh, friends of the program. They wanted to rip their hair out. And also uh, Shane Beamer broke his foot in frustration foot. after this game. What do you think about that? That's like Can breaking a back? controller. Can I go back real quick? You went over the Caden Prather uh, yeah. thing. Winston Wright back in the portal. What did he do? Like, he didn't do anything at Florida State. He's not going to no, do anything well, for us. Florida State has, like, two or three really good receivers. I mean – What is he – can he – he has to sit out, right? I don't know, but if he wants to come back up north, we'll we'll let him back in. We'll Fair forget. Enough. Let bygones be bygone. Um, I don't know. Shane Beamer, we might see a Shane fraud Beamer – Hashtag fraud watch? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. It's not a – what's what's below a watch? Not an alert. We're just going to keep our eye on No, because warning – Warning is, wait, no, a warning is, I'm trying to think of tornadoes. 
Mm-hmm. I think if it's a tornado warning, then that means there could be one. But if it's, it's a tornado, just someone's, it's someone's pappy out on the porch going, there's a storm brewing. And if it's a tornado That's watch, that means there's something. Hold on. Well, I got to look this up. Good I thing it's the good. Megapod. Are you looking at it? We're going to go deep. Uh, warning versus watch. Oh, there's another one called alert. Okay, hold on. I thought there was an alert one. Here we go. Here we go. Tornado. A tornado watch is an early alert. A tornado warning means there's an ongoing storm. We're and in a then, Frank Beamer watch then. Or Shane Beamer. Shane Beamer watch. Fraud watch. Shane, fraud watch. We're okay. monitoring the situation. Um, like the weather girl with the big cans. And I'm just circling. I'm like, it could be in the tri-state. You never know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there's a... Uh, Speaking of the uh, Beamer name, mm-hmm. Virginia Tech has got something with this backup quarterback, Drones. Yeah, and I was on the wrong side. I was all over Wake. I mm-hmm. went back to the well one more time. I said, is Virginia Tech really improved? And they are. But we got a good matchup this week in Virginia Tech Pitt. God, mm-hmm. that sounds horrible to say, but Fucking that's going to be fun to watch. An absolute junk ball. An absolute junk ball. A game that I will not be on any of my TVs, I can guarantee you that. A game that I won't be betting on because I can't get a read on either of these teams right now. I'm going to lean Virginia Tech uh, because of the dual threat nature of their quarterback. But, dude, I would... they they thought they got it wrong with Brent Pry. They might got it right with Brent Pry. Like I said, I Just I how fast absolutely... it changes. This is we're getting to the point of the season where now I can get a little picky and okay. like early in the season I'll watch anything. Give me some Mac football. Right now I want to watch good games and Virginia Tech Pitt will not be on any of my screens unless Pitt's being blown up by thirty and I'll just watch it and thoroughly enjoy it. Okay, for the memes, for the gigs. Little uh, statistic there, but yeah. uh, there we go. Um, any other games that you want to talk about that happened last week? Uh, I'll, also this game is going live right now. Marshall and JMU. Yeah, I have JMU minus three and a half. I have JMU minus six and a half. Blatter. Marshall is injured. Short week. They just got worked by Georgia State. I'm all over JMU. Kurt Signetti, come home to Morgantown next year, please. What's the score in that game? Three to nothing. Good guys. Okay. 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 I don't. I don't know if there's any other other than the Colorado game, which cost me a shit ton of money because I went to bed and they were up twenty nine nothing. Couldn't believe that lost. Um, Texas State is five and two, doing something that. Sh- uh, Spavadol could never do. Where's Spad at right now? He's the offensive coordinator at Cal. There you go. Strong, strong, strong. Uh, um. Oh, dude, my future, my one future pick is already dead. What is it? I I gave you Wisconsin to win the West, Big Ten West. Mm-hmm. That loss against Iowa, that about that, that about hurt. does it. That about does it. And then that for hurt. your quarterback to be done for the year, they said he's done for the year. Yeah, he's he has a. That was a. I think he's, he's done won. for the year. He had a broken hand or something. That was one of the bigger disappointments with Wisconsin. I still have them with an overbet. I don't know if they can grind it out because that's a pretty weak division. But losing to Iowa and Iowa's down a quarter, that was pretty embarrassing. That was yeah. that's if not head bet. But if Iowa can lose one more game, who does Iowa? I think Iowa might have one of the big, like the good East teams. Yeah. Uh, let me look this up. We got Penn State, Ohio State this week, right? We got Penn State, Ohio State this week. We got some wow. good games this week. Well, there are some good games this week. Um. Uh... No, Iowa already lost to Penn State. Okay, well that, yeah, they got many Northwestern Rutgers, Illinois, Nebraska. Yeah, they're they're winning that. Okay, enough of last week. Uh, unless there's anything we, you want to talk about, I want to go. How was the wedding? We didn't get any wedding talk last. Week. Oh, how was the okay. wedding? Wedding Let's was hear. good. Wedding was good. How were the bridesmaids? They were fine. There was one that really, really lit me up at the towards the end of the ceremony or the, in end which, of the in which way. I'll tell you here in a second. Okay. So I get there, love the evening, hanging with the fellas. You get up Saturday, watch a little college game day, watch some of the nooners. You mm-hmm. go to the venue, you get ready. Uh, luckily, in the groom's quarters where we were changing, there was a big TV. I got the multicast up. You're welcome, fellas. I had a couple of games going. I lost so much money on Texas blowing it, playing that cloud coverage against Dylan Gabriel with 40 seconds left. You are outside of your mind, Steve Sarkeesian, for doing that cloud coverage. <laughs> um and then uh, ceremony, ceremony was, it, it, I noticed something going on while I was like getting ready. Uh, and I noticed my throat started swelling up a little bit. And I don't know if it was the weather change or change in altitude or wherever I was located at. 
or somebody spraying like uh, body spray or perfume or whatever that made me have an allergic reaction, my throat and vocal cords were so swollen by the end of the night. I, I, I didn't. I couldn't talk on Saturday. I was finally able to talk on Monday night, maybe Tuesday. Damn. Like I, it was bad, and it like it wasn't like I had a sore throat. It was just everything was swollen, and like it hurt to talk. I had to go through like security at the airport and be like, <sighs> like I felt like a football coach after just like lose. Oh, hold on, I just want to pick. Oh, the Diamondbacks won. There we go. Uh, there we go. Another winner, but Frankie Frankie baseball. Uh, Frankie diamonds. Frankie diamonds. <laughs> Love, wedding was good. Okay, so here's here's what lit me up. Here's what lit me up. Seriously. Also, I looked fantastic, by the way. But look great. People were talking about it off pod. It is the end of the ceremony, the dancing, everything going on. Mm-hmm. I I am essentially sick. Like I am exhausted. I can't talk. I it hurts. I just want to be left alone. I go into the groom's quarters. A couple of people see me go in there, and a couple minutes later, they go in there too. And now we got about five or six people in the in the changing area, some of which are a part of the wedding party, some are not. And then one of the bridesmaids goes, uh, or her husband comes up to me, and he was like, hey, they want us out of here at the end of the night, no big deal. And I was like, okay, yeah, cool, at the end of the night, that makes sense. About five minutes later, she comes back in here. Also, you guys aren't allowed to be in here right now. And I go, well, your husband just said we, we could stay here till the end. And because I had no voice, that sound was not echoing. So she started walking away and started walking and she was in the middle of the doorway. And also she was like touching my leg and like telling me like she was weird, mad weird. And I go, no, no, no. They told us we could stay. And she goes, what? I can't hear you. What is that? I can't hear you. And then starts to and I'm trying to talk. And then she does like a single tear like clown emote thing. She's like, mm-hmm. oh, like does like one single tear. I wanted to stuff her in a dumpster. Like it was the Dropper. most. Un- yeah, dude. Like. You know I'm sick. You know I don't feel good. You know I can't talk. And you're like, oh, I can't hear you. Shut up. And also, she's walking around barefoot. Grow we up. Hate we hate the barefoot move. Grow up. Bring flats. Bring, bring flats. Loser. What right. did, do we have any other wedding gripes? Because I have a list of gripes that I want to get into. I'm very passionate. Uh, no, for, yeah, no. I'm sorry I just told a singular story. I should have just told, like, gripes about a weddings in general. We, but... we have it? it doesn't have to be about that wedding. I mean, if you want to be personal, if you want to say, that, if you want to put your no, name. No, the wedding was great. The bride was okay. lovely. It, it, I, it was great. No, but no bridesmaids were lucky enough to lay next to Frankie Dimes? Uh, no. I stayed no. in my friend Grant's. Uh, he, I, he, he, uh. Had a room with a couch, pulled out the couch. Night one, I stayed at the groom's house. Night two, I stayed in the hotel. All right. You couldn't, and you couldn't have, not enough. You weren't enough to Dude, cycle. I was up sick. Jordan had a flu game. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't want to hear excuses. Close. Fair enough. I wanted you to have to send a text out and be like, hey, pull a bridesmaid home. Is that okay? She's oh, like, hey, you're yeah. talking about to saying my situation. Your situation ship. Yeah. That's still a thing. But let's go. Let's go back to back. Let's go tit for tat. I'm gonna go some grapes because like band for band. Yeah, <laughs> I've been people saying that. Me. Band for band. People don't. People see me. They're like that guy. He is way more passionate about weddings than he should be. But like I said, right. I've been on the other side. I've officiated weddings. I've been a part of weddings. I've been invited to what. I've never been. I've never been a groom. Never been a groom. Right. You know, I've just been a groomsman. Been a groomsman many times. Okay. I've been a best man, a groomsman, officiated. I've. Been. I've wine and dined at every outside, indoor, bougie, trashy, classy. I've been there. There's nothing I haven't seen. Okay. And there, there's one universal truth. And when I say this, people are going to get mad at me. And I'm sorry, but it's true. And if you've been in this situation, it, it's more on you than them. And they put you in a rough situation. There's some people that are going to know exactly what I'm saying. The worst part of every wedding, the absolute, it's always when it comes to the hall. I've never heard a good one. I think it's always terrible. What do you think I'm going to say? The worst part of the wedding? Worst part of any wedding, the reception wedding, the worst part, the universal low point of any wedding. Uh, the DJ. That's a good guess because I that is one of the that is one. Of the no, this I, one this one was bad. No one could hear him. That's that's a whole other thing. But dude, I can't. I've never in my life heard a good bridesmaid speech. Heard a good. Oh, speech. they're always bad. Yeah, like dude. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the toughest job, and I'm not even trying to. I'm not even trying to just crush the women because it's a tough job. Because if you're the if you're the like you can't walk up as as like the maid of honor and be like, well, she looks like a sack of shit, doesn't she? 
So like you, you're kind of in a corner. Yeah, that's funny. You that's funny. Yeah, you can't, you like can't the, bust the, balls. Like yeah, you can't. Like imagine if your grooves would cut up and be like, so this skank over here. Let me tell you about her. Like so, but it's always the worst. And I can tell you, it, it's almost like they give a maid of honor like a Mad Lib, and it's like when I first met Jessica and Steve, and it's just like that's the first part, and then the second part is like. If they're not related, they're going to mention how they're basically sisters. If they are related, it's just like, when I first met you, I knew that we were going to be inseparable. And it's fucking terrible. It's always bad. And they tell some stupid story about how they met. And then they tell us, or they'll go, like, when I first met her, I hated her. Like, all women fucking hate each other when they meet. And that's a fucking individual. Like, if I, I wish I'd be like, you know, we met, we vibed immediately. Like, yeah, no, no, we I caught a vibe. Like they're like, I thought, they're like, I thought she was so loud. And like, and then I grew to love her. And it's just, they're fucking terrible. They're always bad. And the problem is they always have to go after like the groomsman or the like the best man who's always yeah. they always so it's just a tough position. And here's my advice. And I've and I've done this. I've actually talked, I was an officiant and I talked to this girl and I said she's giving the speech. And I was like, listen, here's what you gotta do. Keep it under two minutes. Welcome everybody. Say you're happy to be here. Tell one cute story about them. Welcome both sides of the family. Get in and out. You want to be like a SWAT team. Maybe like you seals. just want to flashbang them, get in and out. Yep. You're not anytime. It and like I said, it I've heard like you know, if you have a funny story, go ahead. But the problem is you just can't really shit on the bride. And that's like and also you can't shit on the grim because anyway, like a huge bitch. So it's it's a tough what it's if it's a, a lesbian wedding? wedding? I've never been to one. Maybe I okay, need to. I was gonna say, can you can you can you bust balls or bust what do you bust, use? You bu- bust boobs? Yeah, bust, <laughs> bust boobs. I don't know. I think I think if any of the DJ NYC uh listeners are going to have a lesbian wedding, invite Frankie and I for research. And we will we'll take our notes. I don't and, know. I've had a bad history with lesbian. No, you've had a bad. You've had it with bisexuals. Oh, it's true. Full on lesbians. Yeah, no issues. Yeah, good yeah, point. Don't, don't slam. It's just it's just the B in that acronym that Frankie's currently feuding with. It's a good point. All, all the other letters of that Scrabble alphabet acronym, Frankie's good with. Yep. So good point. Don't don't put them. Don't put them in a box. We're pretty good with them. So if they want to invite us to now. Does that mean both speeches are really good or both speeches are going to be really bad? We don't know. Yeah, we don't. I but gave, that, I've only given one speech dominated. I, I'm sure it wasn't absolute house to house dominated. It was, it was for, it was for Sam. You're probably, Sam huge. you're probably huge that whole time. I did like three minutes, crushed it, told I stories agree. about like our childhood. And the, it wasn't even the maid of honor. I think it was just a random girl who was like, I think I'm going to give a speech. And Sam's wife at the time was like, okay. And then the girl, I was like, I was I told her I was like you should go first. Mm-hmm. I know everyone at this wedding. Like Sa- Sam's family is basically my family. It's gonna mm-hmm. murder. You need to go first. And she was like, yeah. I'm nervous. You go first. I crushed. Her first words were, "He's a tough act to follow." But um, I when I first met him, yeah. And I then knew it was Sam was a great guy. Ah, fuck that shit. That's yeah. number one. And this is, I'm not just going to crush the ladies. I'm going to crush the dudes. Because first of all, when you go to a wedding, the girls look a thousand times better than all the guys. Even if you see like a- oh, Whoa. Whoa. I looked awesome. Frank, this this can't be viewed to the pyramid of you. We got to we gotta tuck the narcissism away for two seconds for this. You're huge. But I looked really good. People were talking about how huge you looked. That's okay. that's notwithstanding. Okay. We had, okay. To disa- we had to disable the comments because your family watches them. All right. The IG comments had to be disabled. Okay. Notwithstanding, Frankie, handsome man, ladies, he's single adjacent. So follow it there. For the dudes, you know what I'm fucking sick of seeing? First of all, I don't mind the entrances to like the wedding, like whenever they come in, like to the reception. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're talking about the dances and stuff? Yeah, I don't mind those. Okay, they're fun. They're fun. They're cute. You know what I fucking can't stand? I don't like the dudes walking in, cracking a beer like it's a 90s Budweiser commercial. I've seen a thousand times. Figure out something else. If your whole personality is that you can drink a beer, that's not fucking interesting to me. Do something (laughs) else. That's like great. if your whole like if your whole thing is like oh my crap a beer like okay if a girl wants to come in like stone cold and slam cool I love that the dude who like walks in he's just like you know that dude is terrible at parties like you know like if I see a guy walk in his entrance is like it opens like and opens a Steve Weiser I'm not interested in him. I have no interest in what he has to say for the rest of the night what what ten beers what two if, if at my wedding I will tell if you're gonna enter you better bring the fucking heat okay yeah. you better I bring be the heat. If you walk in and you crack open a beer, I want to see it. You're out. Cutting you from it. Yeah. Let me ask you this. At this wedding, were there organized dances? What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean you by that? Like, a, like, a, like the electric slide. The DJ played the electric slide, the Cupid shuffle. That's out. X on that? 
Here's my, that shit. He did him back to back to back. All three of the dance songs, Cupid Shuffle, Electric Slide, and then uh, there was another one I forget. He played him bang, bang, bang. Listen, he I wanted know to get it. He wanted to get him done. You know, I get that. And I you know why they do it. They're like, oh, they want to get all the people, the old people dance. I don't give a fuck about the old people. They've had they've ruined the housing market. They've ruined everything else. I'm done placating them. They can they can get fucked. Okay. At my wedding, it's gonna be nothing but trap music. There we it's go. Gonna be, it's gonna and I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna lock all the doors. It's gonna look like an East Atlanta Gucci main video. Go the way you move it. Yeah. Got me no, in a trance. All you're gonna see is Hennessy and cheeks clapping, and there might be like a like a like a Jamaican alarm, just like burr, 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 like a fog. You're gonna hear right this, and nobody's here. giving hand. Nobody's nobody's clapping. That ain't. I hands. want like I want someone's aunt like doing like a handstand, like throwing ass in a corner. I hate it. I don't care. Whenever they tell me they're like, oh, you know, my parents are here. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if they can't hear some Gucci Mane. Or some or some ski. I don't fucking care. Your wedding's okay. gonna be dope. And huh? Your wedding is gonna be dope. My wedding's gonna be fucking. Cr- I'm, there's gonna be like I'm gonna give everyone like I'm gonna give like every fifth person just like a Draco and just be like, feel free to pop it whenever you want. Like, dude, it's gonna like look every- like the, it's gonna look like those Taliban videos when they win <laughs> something and <laughs> and there's like just like <laughs> like there's me like, doing like half trucks just blowing it, but like it, they're doing it one handed and then that gets away from him. They're all like whoa 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 like it almost. Oh my God. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. It's just, and I've heard that excuse like, well, we don't want to play explicit music. Yeah, you do. You know why? And your wedding's going to fucking suck. And you're going to wonder why all the bridesmaids are sitting down. Because here's the other thing, because I crushed the ladies earlier. I feel bad. If the girls at your wedding are dancing, it's not going to be a good wedding. Like, Agreed. Need to have, Agreed. The girls got to be into it. And if that, and I'm not saying you got to play trap music, but you got to play music the girls are going to like. But you also got to play some music that's going to bring the dudes out. So if you can do that, you'll get it. But like, there I is. I got to say no- something, though. Same. Wedding I went to over the summer was really awesome. You yeah. know why? Why? Minimal white people. Hmm. That's always listen. That's always a good thing. I've been to two best wedding. Months. Best wedding I went to was it was, for lack of a better term, a black wedding, and it was awesome. And did they play uh, a bunch of chicken dances and shit? They did not do the Pittsburgh well, polka. No, they did. Well, the Pittsburgh polka might get played because that song gets a little lit. <laughs> that song gets a little lit. But nah, man, they were they were they. Yeah, I mean, you saw that there was tape. It's documented. You saw the tape. The you saw the tape. They're when not when around. when I bet you won't came comes on. <laughs> that's I bet, I bet you, you. I bet you. I bet you. That's me. I'm out there. I'm doing my thing. Just I don't know how it's gonna look, but I just can't wait to see how beautiful my bride looks walking out slowly to knock if you buck. And I'm no, just like, if you buck. And yeah, dude, we better swag serve too. Oh, we're swag surfing. But it I, it better not look like when like Duke student section swag surfs and everyone's just like hard swaying side to no. side. I need a groove. Of, it looks like when Kansas State does that stupid ass seesaw song after they score. Wah, 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 where they go back and forth. If if we're doing you know when you walk into the wedding and it's like they have like where you're supposed to sit and it's like it's like pick a side, not a family or whatever. They have all that like dumb shit off their yeah. tongue. Like it's like just vibes. Don't pick a side, pick a seat like that dumb shit. Yeah. I'm going to have like Gucci Mane on the left. And then I'm going to have like the Ying Yang twins on the right. And I'll just be like, pick a vibe. Just pick, pick a vibe. Just pick whatever. Just, and I'm like, and like I said, I understand it. But at the same time, play Kate and all the old fuckers. Cause they can't hear about ski, ski, ski. I'm done with it. Y'all had your run. You did Bruce Springsteen and all your bullshit. And all, and I'm sick of it, and I'm done. And is this is this is this Ginzer being a little class warfare? He doesn't care. I'm done. I'm with it. Maybe Except have maybe have a, a a weekend cutout in the bathroom. Let him know if it's time for some some snow. I'll have some little, little nose beard. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know if we'll have I don't know if I'll have a coke station at my wedding, but that's something we can workshop. Well, I'm just saying the girl that I inevitably bring to your wedding is probably going to want that. She can watch Snowblow Station. She's probably gonna, she's probably gonna need that to function. Well, you know what? Uh, beggars can't be choosers, and if you want to have a couple, if you know, if the white ziff ain't doing it, and need a couple nose beers, you can take yourself off to the dance floor. We'll take you fun. Hey, there you go. You know, a little Colombian marching powder. But that's those are the three big ones. Any of yours? Any? Because I know you go. Like, what was bothering you? I know you love to complain. You love to be neurotic. You love I to love to complain, but I know you people. Love to at feel this better people than at, people. What did you? What was that last one? You love to feel better than other people. You love to like, <laughs> like you love to push others down. Um, 
I am better than others. Thank you for noticing that. It's true. It's true. I I think the wedding was it was a beautiful ceremony. Um, I have no I have no gripes. It was all in one location, mm-hmm. which convenience sake I think was good. Yep. Space wise, not great. No, there was one bathroom for the entire venue, That's one men's great. and one women's. Didn't enjoy that. No. I also didn't like getting chastised every five seconds for drinking non-alcoholic beers. Frankie Dunham's, that's on you, buddy. Listen. That's what they served them. Okay, here's what you do. And I'm going to tell you this because I'm a it's little... It's on the menu. You. I'm going to give you a little wisdom. Just because it's on the menu doesn't mean it's kosher. Okay. If you are if you don't want to drink, that's fine. I'm over it. I've come to peace with it. Like my child coming to tell me something I'm setting, I, I still love you and I accept you. But if you're going to drink these non-alcoholic beers... You can do the common courtesy of just finding a solo cup and putting it in there. That's all you got to do, buddy. Wrap well, there was no, there was it. no option. There was no option. Wrap a napkin around it. Okay. You're inviting attention to yourself. Because I could have done that. I could have done that. Because you're explaining if you, then people are going, "Why aren't you drinking? Why aren't you drinking?" Listen, all you got to do keep that label covered. Put a napkin around it. No one says the goddamn thing. Or, or, or if you really want to be tricky, you can do the inverse of what I did when I was, you know, a young buck. You take that beer and you just put it in a Coors Light thing. And there you go. You can drink it all night. No one will say a word. Easy breezy. There you go. What would you do? So like whenever like you were like, let's say you're at like a like, let's say you're at like somebody's grad party. right? No, this sounds like if this sounds like what I think it sounds like. Sound, you sound like a liar. What? Sounds like you would drink. You would you would drink a beer. You would drink a Coors Light. And then you yeah. would fill the same can up with a random liquid and make it look like you were drinking Coors Lights. Inverse. So, like, if I was at somebody's grad party, I oh, would you would fill like, like a Coke up with. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's so fine. you'd take like you would grab like a you'd have like a like a I don't know like a like a Sierra Mist. Yeah. And you put vodka in there. And you're just sipping all night. No one says anything. You're not drawing attention. Yeah. So that's and then, and then you and then you wrap your car around a tree and like yeah. he was just drinking Sierra Mist all night. Yeah. How'd that happen? No, you're was, uh, you know, you're, you're his mom. It's hot. Like you're just like like too much in you, but <laughs> and then you fun. get pulled over and they ask, where are you going? Columbus. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the Bob Huggins that. reference. Shout out. He actually <laughs> my mom lives right next to Burger King where he got uh, a whopper before he got arrested. So at like 2 30 p.m. That was like six hours. He goes, they go, where'd you go? He goes, I went to Burger King. Dude, I'd fuck up a Burger King right now, but that's your regard. But... I haven't been to a Burger King in years. Hey, you'd be proud of me. I had I had fast food for the first time in like 10 years. What'd you have? I had Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is not fast food. Chick Fil A is fast food, bro. Chick-fil-A You're out of your mind. Chick Fil A is not fast food. That's not that's white elitist moms serve that to their kids. It's not fast food. Fast food or the fast food is McDonald's, Wendy's, Taco Bell. That's fast food. Chick Fil A is on the same level as Chipotle. No. Yes. Yes, it is. I wouldn't eat Chipotle. Chipotle is fast food. <sighs> Listen. We could play a game where you can name me restaurants, and I will tell you where it's fast food or fast casual. Chick-fil-A. Let's do it. Hold on. Let me yeah, pull up a list of restaurants. This is the Megapod. Right, we got time you, to I'll kill tell you classy or trashy. Classy or trashy. Time. Fine. Would it be, would a would a bougie soccer mom, would a woman in gym shark leggings buy it? There you God, go. God, that's so hot. Would a woman with a Lululemon bag go into that restaurant? I can that's, tell you yes or no. That's my wife right there. My You've never wife. seen a girl in like Viore sweats. And like a little top and a Lulu crossbody go into a fucking McDonald's. Just doesn't happen. All right. Okay. I mean, some of these are fast food and you're not going to like the sound of it. I'm going to, everyone listening to the pod is going to agree with me. This is going to age terribly for you. <laughs> um, I, I, guarantee, I guarantee you I look better than you at the end of this. People are going to, people are going to look back on this. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. I'm going to say, I'm going to name something that I think is fast food. Okay. And then you tell me if you agree, agree or disagree. Okay. Dairy Queen. Uh, fast food. Okay. McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger fast King, food, all the food. we all know. Wendy's, we know. Yes. Subway. Disgusting. Fast food. <laughs> Subway ten years ago was not fast food. Subway now is fast food. And if you get that reference, you're a real one. That's a Jared reference. No. Oh, uh, Arby's. <laughs> Arby's is fast food. Arby's is fast. Arby's is fast food, but it's like Arby's is like country girl Chick Fil A. 
Like that's like no, it's like, not, bro. Arby's Country Girl Chick like, Fil A is like Zaxby's or uh, Zaxby's is not fast food. Okay, Raising Cane's is Raising Cane's fast food. Yes. No. Disagree. By bro. the by, the letter of the law, is it fast food? Yes. But there is there is a difference. Fast food is like White Castle's fast food. White Castle is fast food. That's White Castle's as fast fast food as it can be. White Castle Popeyes is, is fast food. I disagree. Popeyes is delicious. That doesn't the, the the taste doesn't matter to the the level of here's fast foodness or not. Okay, here's what goes. Chick fil A is not fast food. Yes, so it is. And Chipotle. Arby's and five and five guys. Arby's is country Chick fil A. Popeyes is black Chick fil A. So there you go. They've all got their separate subcategories. And Canes is uh Atlanta Braves fans who are too afraid to see anybody other than a white person. That's their Chick fil A. Actually, no, they actually like regular Chick fil A. I'm stupid. They do. They I, I know where you're going with that. That's it's out of Georgia. Canes, not fast food. How about this? Bojangles. That's fast food. Bojangles is fast food. Okay. Um Let's see. I'm gonna see what else is on here. In and out. That's fast not food. fast food. What? Not That's, fast food. It is in no. the name. It's in no. and out. It's fast. In and listen. You are asking me. I'm not. A, I'm asking you about the quality of the meal. And not I don't care served. about the quality. Do you like, serve it quickly? Yes or yes. I mean, like, what if? What if? Uh, like, what about like a food truck? Food trucks not fast food. It's a food truck. Yeah, but at least it's made. It, it's made like. For you, it's made. It, they don't have like ten sandwiches underneath a heat lamp, being like, just give them See, this one. That's the difference. See, McDonald's does that shit. Chick Fil A, you got some like fifteen year old homeschool kid back there listening to Veggie Tales audio, and he's breading that shit, and he's like trying to bread the sins away because he had like he got like a boner in geometry because the one girl showed like her shoulder, and he's like, we're gonna put him, gotta put him that fucking tender, gotta brine that shit away, gotta brine the sins away. And that little like Caden Aiden is going to give me like the most fire sandwich without any seasoning, but it's good. I like the pickles. Pickles are good. So you had, what did you get at Chick-fil-A? Let me, let me circle back. I had Chick-fil-A breakfast. I had a chicken biscuit. Okay. Solid. I had some chicken minis and I had some of the hash browns. Okay. What were your thoughts? Would you go back to Chick-fil-A? Wish they would have put pickles on the biscuit. They would have, if you asked, they'll do it. Okay. You know, you asked that little. Did the girl serve she like a blonde girl with a pony? It was. It was at the venue. Was that the? They had Chick Fil A at the venue. No, it was oh. like like, hey, groom, pick pick some stuff up. Okay, for us. Although I had the last wedding I went to, first of all, the food slapped, and at the end of the night, they put out like Chicago pizza and burgers and dog. It was fire, and it was all like bougie shit too. It was delicious. They like I think they had, like Italian beef, five stars. What do you think about the Skyline Chili? Um, is that fast food? Because I think yes, Skyline is. But here's the deal: they have sit down in there, so people do get waited on at Skyline. Yeah, you can so. sit down in McDonald's Play Place. Does that count? One of our friends probably does that often. I'm not gonna name it. Yes, he does. I'm take two Motrin it. and call me in the morning. That's right. I will say this, and then we're gonna take a brief break. We're gonna get into picks. Skyline, and I'm gonna do like the cliffhanger. Skyline is fast food because it's uh basically chili on spaghetti and it looks uh pretty disgusting so shots fired back after this back after this all right we are back so we kind of ended the last so i think we ended up talking about we had a fast food debate yeah we talked about chick fill it we we cooled off we cooled off. We, we, we cooled our separate off. corners. We went yeah. to our separate corners. I went and rubbed myself with Polynesian sauce to, as, a, as a soothing technique. Frankie <laughs> went and just had some cold spinach to just make sure his body was cleansed. And right. a seltzer water. And a seltzer water. Uh, while we took a break, ETN scored a touchdown. I had ETN. I, me too. I had ETN anytime to score, first time to score. I had the Jaguar or the first team to cross the 50. I also had, will the first score of the game be a rushing touchdown? But our friend... Uh, our friend Dilly Boy had, because he's just an autistic savant. He had would the would the first quarter final score be seven three Jaguars? That's what he had, and the guy missed a field goal. So Dylan's gonna miss out on a couple hundred bucks, but it is what it is. We uh, still- I had a first quarter over nine and a half, also, but yeah. I I put a bunch I put a bunch on uh, at the end score anytime. I should have put more. I also I sprinkled a little bit on Kamar to score anytime. I should have just put it all on at the end. But Listen. It won. That's all that matters. It won. But we got three quarters uh, left. Kamar can score. 
he definitely can score. Um, but let's get into anything else where we dive into these picks. Dude, I want more picks. I'm upset yep. with the amount of picks that okay. I have. Here's what we're going to do is you're going to do your picks. I'm going to do mine and I'm going to throw a couple picks of mine that I had that didn't quite make the cut. And, and we I can also just talk. We one. Listen, now that we have a whole other yeah. half of recording time to play with. Yes. We can talk about games. We can't wait. Okay. There's something that neither of us have that we could be convinced about. Okay. I'm going to give you, here's what we're going to do. Cause I know we're going to have stump the Enzer at the end. I'm going to have, I love stump the Enzer. I'm going to have four picks at the end that okay. I didn't take that were on my chopping block. And I want to I want to sell these picks to you, and I want you to see if you buy any of these. If you're going to add them to your card, I like okay. that. I like okay. that. So, I want you to give me. Well, do you want to just jump into the picks? You're still actually. I forget how we do it. I had no, a better I, week I, last week. But oh, if still... you had if you had the better week last week, then it's you. Okay. Oh wait, so, no. Is it? Yeah, whatever. You go first. I've been going okay. first every time. I haven't gone first in a while because you've been crushing it. Yeah. Right. I'm going to start with my first one unit play. Okay. Army. Plus 32, one unit play against LSU. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, the armed services, what do they give you every single game? What do they Four give quarters. you? Four quarters. Four quarters of football. That's what Four you're getting quarters. out of all the And I'm going to tell you why I like this five. You're going to look at me and say, Yenzer, LSU is a machine. They're going to mm-hmm. score on every drive. Mm-hmm. They might score on every drive. But Army's probably going to take six, seven, eight minutes on every drive because of this rushing. I am purely playing this game to just tick, 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 tick. LSU has the bye, and then they got Alabama right after. So they're not showing anything this game. Look ahead. Yeah. This is 100% a game that LSU is going to try to win like 31-10. Just get out of Dodge. There's no need to embarrass the service academies. Not during uh, the potential war crisis we have looming. Let's get the morale up for the boys. So give me Army plus 32, one unit play. I think if Army gets to 10 points, this is an absolute lock. Lockheed Martin. I like that. But Lockheed but- Martin. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great Air Force check. Wasted yeah. it. But don't worry. Army has some fly boys too. Yeah. But Army, no, plus Army definitely one employs unit. Lockheed more. And, uh, and I, let me let me just give you let me just give you the the I gave you the emotion. I'll give you the facts. LSU okay. running is terrible. Army, Army's gonna be able to run. Obviously, Army can always run. They're gonna have two clock. Unless LSU scores every single drive, one field goal, one punt, this game's probably gonna cover that 32. Um and also, just as I said, this is a look-ahead week. LSU is not going to leave those starters, and they're not going to want to risk an injury against Alabama, especially when Alabama looks a little wounded. Right. So, for me, plus 32, one unit, I think that's a great play. I really like that. That jumped out the board to me pretty quickly. 32. Okay. That's past the football number, too. You can get 31 as a football number. So mm-hmm. thirty. That It was 31 and a half to cut up to 32, so I'll take that every time. Yeah, we will take that every time. Hold on. Let me yep. – my thing is not loading. Okay. Um, My next pick, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with this pick. I am pleased with this pick. Give it to me. Uh, Miami plus three at home, one unit. If we look at some analytics, um, win margin for Miami is 0.316. Margin, uh, or just like win loss margin, everything combined uh, for Clemson is 0.224. Miami ranks 11th in the country. Clemson ranks 26th in the country in that. Miami's at home. They just got worked by North Carolina. I get that. However, the way that Dabo was talking right now in his press conferences, it's setting, it's almost like he's getting out in front of a loss. Mm-hmm. He's the the quote that he came out with the other day on like Monday or Tuesday. He said, uh, well, maybe the fans are getting like too high and mighty. Maybe losing a couple would be good for them to understand where I've brought Clemson, like where we are and where we used to be. That is coach speak for we're not very good. And if we lose, I get to be like, see, I told you we weren't very good. I think I think Miami beats them and then at, at home dog, home team getting points. I'll take that. home team getting points. All right, I like Plus that three. pick. I'm going to go to my next one unit play. I have a lot of plays this week, but I'm going to do a one unit same game parlay. The reason I want to do a same okay. game parlay is. These are the, this is what everyone's playing. These are what everyone's so excited about because you have the boost and this and this. Yep. This is a plus 110 same game parlay, which means you can boost that to probably about 210, 185 if you get those boosts. Okay. Tell me where this loses. I'm interested to hear where. Okay. Marvin Harrison, over 49 and a half yards. That's, that's probably good. He's going to sleepwalk to 75 yards. Yeah, that's probably good. McCord just needs over 0.5 touchdowns. He's going to get one tutty. Okay. Penn State. Plus ten and a half. That's good. So this is a this is a plus one ten parlay. 
I don't think this is a true, and we can talk about this game. Ohio State, great offense, been underwhelming. Penn State, great mm-hmm. defense, really hasn't played anybody. Ohio State can't run the ball. Penn State really can't throw for big chunk plays. So what's going to happen when these two teams meet? Is Ohio State better than we think? Is Penn State worse than we think? James Franklin, as we know, which I love, is a cover machine. If they yeah. are down 17, James Franklin's going to be throwing it to get that cover to try to get that below that number. The number's five, but same exact point. If they're up 7, 10, 14, he's not going to give up. And the other thing is, James Franklin, you know, there's two coaches. Ryan Day needs this win. James Franklin needs this win. I feel like this is going to be a game that's played pretty close to the vest. You'll probably get some explosive plays just because Ohio State has those guys. But Mm -hmm. I think 10 and a half, I think Penn State could win this game. Uh, But I really like that keeping it close enough to get it within comfort. Plus, like I said, you can play with all your boosts, all your free bets. So this is for those people that are playing the $10, $15 bets. You can boost that, get your free bets in. But yeah, great. Harrison over 40 and a half, McCord one touchdown. PSU plus time and a half one unit play. I love that. Go. Um, East Carolina minus seven at home against Charlotte. I watched Ooh, every bit. Terrible on offense. Charlotte's terrible on both sides. Yeah. ECU one unit. Yeah, ECU Sorry. not great either. Yeah, uh, but I'm just gonna take the home team there. Um, Charlotte ranks one hundred one. ECU ranks eighty five in the analytics um, ranking. So I mean, it's pretty 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 big discrepancy. I watched every bit of that. Charlotte Navy game last week and they they did all right they competed but they did not score like they they could not score if you ever want I can't remember the guy's name it's he has a weird name the head coach for Charlotte what's his name Biff Pogey Biff Pogey um if you ever want a really interesting read read that guy's Wikipedia that guy that's my guy he's hedge fund guy yeah he went and pretty much redid uh who did read Michigan's offense that yeah it was Michigan he but he also like changed maryland high school football yeah. like baltimore yeah, the high dude school is, football the guys are really cool dude like if you ever like i think i watched like a quick like 20 minute like youtube doc on him he is he's pretty much dominant everybody's that and i think he's just pretty much settled with you know charlotte there's probably no pressure he's out there doing that he's rocking this well they, they charlotte needed him because yeah. he's doing something that will healy their last coach didn't do will healy is a ball guy he's a young guy good recruiter yeah. biff poji is a good recruiter but yeah. he's also a money guy Mm-hmm. and Charlotte is a program that needs money. And yeah. so if you can get both, that's pretty good. Um, there's also an HBO show after him called, uh, gosh, I forget the name of it. If you just looked up like HBO yeah. Baltimore high school football, it's like a four or five episode series. Oh, and shit, I got to check that out. It's, about yeah, him. Yeah, it's really cool. That guy's really fucking cool. But uh, that being said, he gets beat by seven points this week it's at Green, in, in Greenville. Are you ready? Are you ready for my next pick? Of course. I feel like I'm going to kick a poppy with this next pick. It's a two-unit play. I got a two-unit play. Let's go back-to-back. Clemson minus three. I think this is the first time. Which is weird. Tell me we're going head-to-head. We we never – I don't think we've ever gone head-to-head. As many episodes as we've done, we're usually in lockstep, and we're usually winning. This is our first – I can remember. Head-to-head. Clemson minus three. And I heard what Frankie said, and I'm going to give you two counterpoints. One, Clemson has been one of the most injured teams. By week, they're getting a lot of guys back. They're getting a lot of guys healthy. The home game for Miami, Miami has not beaten a fucking ACC home opponent in, I think, almost <laughs> like calendar year. So is it a home field advantage? Fair enough. I love, once again, this is a, this is a three-point game. So there is no way where you're saying this is a lock either way. No. But Frankie and I are going to be on the other side. I think Clemson rallies the troop, gets it done. Um could Miami come out now? Also, Van Dyke injured. We'll see if the quarterback is fully healthy. If Van Dyke is not at 100%, he's not a mobile guy. It's so not that big a deal. But if he is knocked out of the game at any time, Clemson will roll. But uh, I'm not making this a four or five unit play for a reason. But we're going to go head to head, which we've never done. So, um, that's DJ NYC Nation, I don't know. Do you play it? Do you not play it? Do you, do you pick who your favorite is? See what we think. But I just, I, as soon as you said my I started smiling. I said, we've never done this before. So that's cool. All well, right. Fun. Good luck. I hope you don't have good luck because okay. I'm going to have this IRL. All right. Fair enough. All right. Give me your next pick, buddy. Uh, I have a two unit play. It's a road oh. dog howling. Jesse James. Rutgers minus five. I'm going back to the well. They're at Indiana. This is the game for Rutgers. The, That's you, only minus five? It's minus five. And mm. everybody and their brother is on it. Yeah. That's a trap line. You win this, your Rutgers. 
Yeah. Bowl eligible. That's the this counter is your, to this the is trap. The e- this is the easiest game you have for the rest of the season. That's the counter to the trap because, yeah, it's a trap line, but why does Indiana want to win in Rutgers? God, I don't know. I might look at that. That Come Saturday morning, I'll have money on that game. Yeah. I, I Two it. units on Rutgers, Scarlet Knights. Yeah. Di- I'm, I'm pleased with how they're – Greg Schiano, man – He's, he's the right tough. guy. He's the right guy for that job. Truthfully. He is the right guy for that. I like that play a lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that one. First right. quarter first quarter over just hit in the NFL game. You're huge. Tell me All about right. it. Two, two seven to three. Play. Seven to three, by the way. Is it really? Yeah. You finished? <laughs> it's there's a minute and a half left. Let's go. Let's oh go. Oh my god. Is he really gonna win a couple hundred? I think he's gonna win like a uh, hundred something. I'm sick. Yeah, he's gonna win something on that. His just his mind, his his beautiful mind. He does have a beautiful mind. He, what's so funny is he played that. He also played a bet that was like once again like eight dollars to win six fifty. Like he's just he, who knows how he, how he comes bet up. ten to win five. Ten to, the ten to win four bet. <laughs> oh what, what no what was it is a it was ten to win four. Yeah, <laughs> ten to win. How much do you have on your ten to win? Four? <laughs> they didn't uh, even say how much did you win. He goes, I bet ten. Bet ten to win four. <laughs> he got four dollars back. Just bought myself a beer. <laughs> oh man. Okay. This is my next. You know, I like to go with these wonky parlays. The next one's going to be a little weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is, you can find this on any of the books. I'm not that crazy. The first leg of it is Bama money line. Revenge game for Alabama. Okay. I don't see any way Tennessee, because this defense is way better than what Tennessee played last year. It's in Honestly, Bama. It is in it's Bama. It's at Bama. And it's, I like bring it down. It's minus seven or and it's minus eight right now. But Bama, I'm gonna... Bama really made me mad last week. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the other thing. Bama didn't look great last week. Saban's not gonna let him have two. He just texted me. He just texted me. He goes, "I'm massive." <laughs> <laughs> he just texted me. He is. He's huge. Um, but so, like I said, uh, first leg of it, Bama money line. They're gonna beat Tennessee. Saban's not losing at home. Not losing okay. twice to Tennessee. Not losing okay. at home. It's easy. Okay. The second leg, and this is what number one draft picks do. Caleb Williams over one point five touchdowns. He's throwing two tutties. It's fucking happening. Wow. He's not going out like that. He played his worst game of his entire career last week. He's going to bounce back. USC at home. I know Utah's defense is good, but that doesn't mean that Utah's not going to, or USC's not going to score two passing touchdowns. That's a two unit play. And I absolutely love that. I have, I don't want to, I'll tell you off pod how much money I have on that, but it's it's enough to, it's enough to, I'll tell you how much, I'll tell you off pod how much I lost last weekend. I'm like, I'm excited for that too. But uh, Caleb Williams, 1.5 TDs, Bama money line, two units. That's a winner. Just lock it up. Okay. Right, give, me your, give me your last pick, and I'm going to give you mine. Uh, my last pick, it's a real sicko mode play. i got to pull it give up. Give it to me. It is first half over, 23 and a half, Nevada and San Diego State. And you may ask yourself, please, why are you taking this? And it is because Nevada is the worst team in football. How many teams are there? 132? About 132, yeah. They are 132. They're worse than UMass. The first San Diego State. Over. So the mindset is San Diego State, also not good. Yep. Two bad teams equals points. All right. One or two units. It's one. That's a disgusting play. You should be embarrassed, but I'm gonna pl- I'm gonna write it down. I didn't know if you'd have asked me. San Diego State ranks 58 in the country when they drop back to pass. Thank you for that. I wish I'm so happy before the pod you weren't like Yins are giving do some fill on the Nevada San Diego State game because I'd have been like they are college football teams that exist. This is this is my last play, and I don't know if I've done one already this year, but this is my first one in a while. It's a three unit play. Ooh, that's interesting. We don't we haven't done that. We we can go up to five. I don't know. We haven't done any nuclear bombs in a while. Safety and Marshall JMU. Oh really? It's three to two. Looks like a soccer game. <laughs> if it was a soccer game, we're gonna be smoking them. All three right. to three to two here in the third inning in Huntington. <laughs> you ready for this three unit bomb? Yeah, I'm gonna write it down because I might take it too. West Virginia T or West Virginia uh, over forty one and a half. Not the Mountaineers. The over the game. Gonna, the game. Over. Bring the game down to over forty one and a half. Okay. With Oklahoma minus eight and a half. Okay. Anything, I would bet this. If you can't get the exact numbers, I would bet West Virginia over, get it at least um, to around 44, and the Oklahoma just get it below 10. Dylan Gabriel revenge game. 
Oklahoma is just coming off a bye is just a fucking war machine. They are going to blow the fucking doors off USC. I could think this could be, I'm going to play some alt spreads with a because it's 18 and a half. I might play this. I might play an Oklahoma team total, you know, over 50 points, over 52. I think Oklahoma gets into the fifties. Um, I don't think this is close. If I'm wrong, God bless me. But this seems like the line's 18 and a half. I will have it straight as well, but this just seems like a, a line where they just get absolutely smoked. But uh, three unit play West Virginia over 41 and a half Oklahoma eight and a half the West Virginia one West Virginia's offense has been rolling the mm-hmm. defense is still a little sus Oklahoma mm-hmm. State's coming around a little bit yeah uh, they really are now that, they don't do that three quarterback thing anymore no they, they've got it's just but it's just Bowman and I do and Bowman uh, last time we played in West Virginia I think we destroyed his whole internal rib cage we did yeah so a little revenge on the line he's gonna want to sling it uh but let me do a quick recap, and then I'm going to do I'm going to pitch this these next picks to Frankie. I want him to pick one, or he may pick none. He may tell me go fuck myself. I don't know. No, I'll probably pick. I'll probably take one. Frankie Dimes, Hurricanes plus three, one unit. ECU Pirates minus seven, one unit. Rutgers minus five at two units, and then I'm going to go slowly on this one. Over twenty three and a half, Nevada, San Diego State. First half. Before is a football number. It's under twenty four, one unit. It's the first half, guys. It's first, the first half. half. One H. The NZF baby, Clemson minus three. That's a fight. Two units. Caleb Williams over 1.5 touchdowns. Bam, a money line parlay, two units. West Virginia uh, over 41 and a half to save Oklahoma State. And then Oklahoma minus eight and a half, three unit. That's a bomb. Army plus 32, one unit. And then my same game parlay for you guys playing those boosts. Marvin Harrison over 49 and a half. McCord, one touchdown. PSU plus 10 and a half, one unit play. And then I want to go and I'm going to I'm going to tell you these plays. These are all minus 120 or lower now okay. once you tell me what you think you can tell me yes no okay the first one is minus 125 right now okay. marvin harrison anytime the score is he going to be kept out of the end zone that whole game he's I'm not sorry. i can't bet player props in new york okay but this is if if I, we can play it so no he's he's gonna play. play he's gonna score that's so that's if, what i'm looking at i think that's I, a guaranteed score because a, uh, a mecca booga might not play he the is Red playing Red is he playing he's playing his props aren't up yet, so maybe you know something Vegas doesn't. His props aren't up. He's playing. All right, the next one, UNLV minus 8.5. UNLV has just been steamrolling teams. Agreed. I, mean, I, think, I think they've covered every single game they've played this year. So UNLV minus 8.5. The next one, South Carolina, Mizzou over 58.5. Mizzou scores 38 points every game. South Carolina defense is Does just not look great. good. And you got to think Beamer is going to be coming out full of piss and vinegar, trying to get some points on the board. Over 58 and a half. I thought that number was going to be in the mid 60s. What scares me is South Carolina putting up 13 on the board and Mizzou stepping off the br- stepping off the gas mm-hmm. early. That's mm-hmm. why I didn't make the cut. And then the last one that I was going to play was uh, 92% of the bets are on the over in South Carolina, Mizzou. That scares me. So that's why it wasn't an automatic play for me. And uh, the last one that I was going to play, which it's purely just you're looking at it under 34 and a half Air Force Navy. I, I Air look Force, unders in the service academy games. Are, it's, great. it's a thing. And, and uh, Air Force's quarterback banged up. So really got to think that they're going to be operating at a high percentage. But do any of those tickle your fancy? Are you going to willing to write any of those on your board? I like UNLV. Um, Minus eight and a half. But but. but... I can get it at seven and a half, maybe oh, even, cool. maybe even I can get it down to probably, I can get it to seven at good odds because seven and a half is minus 105. So you can get seven a pretty good, like one, you get that at, one, you get that at seven. I would be interested because I was looking pretty hard at that. The thing, the thing that worries me with that one, and I, I can't bet player props. So I'm out on that. Yep. The 92% on the over, I'm out on that. Mm-hmm. Um, a UNLV is probably my favorite. What was the last pick you gave? Uh, South Carolina, Mizzou over 58 and a half and then under 34 Air Force. And this that's probably the best play is the under in the Surface Academy game. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, it's it would be UNLV. But here's the thing, man. Colorado State, they showed like they're not as bad as they used to be. They showed a yeah. lot of fight. They came back down. I think they were down 14 points or something like the that. Boise the Boise State, State and yeah. outright won the game. Mm-hmm. And so they're right in that high. They're right in that high. And now they get to go to Vegas and play against this quality UNLV team. But in Colorado State's mindset, in that locker room, they say, we get down by two, we're not out of a game. We're fine. So, I, I mean, that that worries me. I think I'm going to rock with the under. If if where What what uh, what uh number did you get it at? I can get it at 
Also, what time is that game? I'm trying to find it on my. It's start. an early game. Oh, it's at noon. Yeah, it's a noon. Noon game. kick in Andover. Yep. Or Annapolis, not Andover. Yeah. Annapolis. It's thirty. I can see thirty-four. Or is this that one game. that they're playing in a neutral site? Is this that one that they're playing in Denver? Hold on. Air Force Navy. I'm looking it up. I think this is a neutral site. Hold on. Why is this not loading for me? Is it loading for you? I don't know where it is, but I don't, you know, I, I don't care. They could pay it on a fucking Air Force carrier. I'm still taking it. They could take it on a fucking frigate and take in the under. All right. It's, a, it's in, it's in Maryland. All right. All, that, want- all that for that. All that for that. Yeah, I'll lock it in. Hold on. Let me find the best number. I'll lock that in. Find the best one. One unit. If you can find a 35, that would be, that's a key number. It's a football number. That is a football number. Got to go to the my book here. Hold on. 34 and a half. Yeah, 34 and a half. That's all I can get. 34 and a half. Well, we'll play that. ETN, two touchdowns. Dang. That boy's spitting. He is. All right, my man. So I got that. So anything else we got? Any? What do you got for me before we head on out? Um. Well, we got time. We got some time. I want to see if there's any like games here that we're uh that we maybe like didn't talk about. That if you, I'm curious. What do you think about the um Urban Meyer sign stealing thing? You mean um Harbaugh? Oh yeah, Harbaugh. Some we don't know. Freudian slip. I don't know. Like it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't. I feel like just one. I don't give a shit. I don't care. Like sign stealing. I thought sign stealing was a part of the game. I think they did something where like like somebody was in person where he shouldn't have been. I think it's a nothing burger. I think it's whole, I think it's a typical thing you drop on like a Thursday afternoon by Saturday. No one gives a shit. Although they they seem to love punishing Michigan. Some Michigan did something to the NCA because they're fucking pissed. Uh, they took a phony punishment. They'll say, "Oh yeah, we'll suspend. Yeah. We'll, we'll, play we'll suspend games. ourselves for three bad games." Like, okay, that's a that's a G move. I've I've pulled that same move. Absolutely. Um, looking at the card here, we got um, Ohio State, Penn State. We touched on USC, Utah. We touched on briefly on Alabama, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, USC, Utah. Um, that's a seven point number. Yep. USC has not proven it against a good defense yet. I want that documented. I think Florida yep. State murders Duke. Uh, mm-hmm. Riley Leonard is not healthy. They're going to shoot him up with Tordal and make him yeah. play, and he's just not going to be able to play. I think Florida State kills them. Um, I don't think there's Iowa. I was I was a three and a half point favorite uh, uh, at home against Minnesota. What do you think about that? No, Eric All. Uh, that it's going to be a matchup. That fucking quarterback from Minnesota is terrible. I don't want to watch that game. Colin I don't Manus. have any interest in it. Yeah, he's terrible. If I had to bet, I'm taking Iowa just because. Can I take defense Iowa defensive team total over six and a half? <laughs> like, I wonder if there is a play to play a defensive touchdown. There probably is. There probably isn't any time to score. Uh, there probably isn't any time to score uh, any time touchdown. I don't see it, but I I mean, God, it'd probably be at like plus 120 plus. It probably wouldn't be very big. <clears throat> uh, like Texas, it, Texas goes to Houston. Yeah. Um, how much okay. do they beat them by? Twenty. Twenty. I don't think it's. Did they get fired, or did no, the w, th- did the W and save them? I think it did. W, I think Washington went saved them at least for another week. Uh, Stayed the execution. Washington State. Uh, I'm curious to see if they get up off the mat. That's that's like. a that's a big game to see if they can actually fight back. Other than that, I mean, South Carolina, Missouri. I think there's points. I hate what you told me, so I might stay off that. I like that. I like your Oklahoma pick. I think I'm going to tease that down too and put it in something. They're going to kill them. I yeah, I, I, I agree. I'd be shocked if Oklahoma doesn't just because Oklahoma is now they've. I think they've, Nebraska. I think Nebraska kills Northwestern this week. I don't know what that number is, but I might be in on Nebraska this week. I don't think it's. A, I think it's around ten ish. I like I that. Know. All right, you want to go to stump the ends, or you got anything else for me? I'm just uh, I'm just excited. I think I'm gonna have a good week this week. I'm proclaiming it. I think it. we are gonna have a good week. I think it's gonna be I think it's productive. I found a lot of weird shit I liked. Um, okay. I might might have to look for some team totals. Cool. We love a team total. Fucking love a team total. First half team total. That's what we were doing with like Maryland in the first couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. First half team total, second half yeah. team total. 
I'm I'm really curious to see what happens in that Wake Pit matchup. You are the only person in the world that is saying that. You are the. I don't only want to touch it. I'm not touching it, but I'm just curious like, to see how it looks. It's like I you're think the only person that's that excited about. That might league. be a that might be a live bet thing and be like, yeah, who is getting it. who is getting push up front to start the game? Is that is that slow mesh working? Mm-hmm. Like I'm not doing it after the scripted drive. I'm doing it after the second drive. Each team gets their script, and then I'll see what happens. Then you're gonna see exactly what it looks like. Yeah, uh, we can do snuff the Yenzer. Let's see. I think I think I might be able to. I think I might get a winner this week. I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, I'm excited for. One of these questions I'm really, really excited about, and I just lost it. <laughs> I had it in my brain, and I, I had, I had it up, and I lost it. Where did that go? This is embarrassing. It's embarrassing, Frankie. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, I'm ready. All right, this is a college football question. All right, I'm pulling my phone down. Let's do it. Okay. What college did Lee Corso play football at? Florida State. Nailed it. Yeah. He was uh he was he, what did he wasn't he team as a Burt Reynolds? Um he roomed with Burt Reynolds, yes. There you That's go. actually that imagine that room. Don't ask your grandma what happened down at Florida State. They got turned out down there. Not so fast, sweetheart. Not so fast, my friend. <laughs> just walks in and just hits it. Uh there was a funny stat about um uh, statistical leaders at Florida State. Hold on. Um, I want to look this up for my own self since we have time. Interceptions, <laughs> dude, this is nuts. Third all time. <laughs> Who is Lee Corso? Is third all time in interceptions at Florida State, tied with Coach Prime. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Leon. <laughs> Lee Corso had them boys in his in his seatbelt. He had them locked up. He had them clamped. Lee you know Corso, it. you know how Corso would be. And well, that, that might be harder because back then he was he played in the fifties. They weren't throwing the they ball. They were throwing it around the yard. So he he he's like, I'm getting this football. He is. You know you know Corso is getting a football. Okay. Um, I want to ask you. I'm going to ask you a college basketball question, but it's going to be last because it's actually kind of hard. Okay. Um. Who was the first country to win the Women's World Cup? In what sport? Soccer. How the fuck would I know? Okay, sorry. We can skip that. <laughs> Wait, can I, the, can I say England? No, it's not England. It's the United States. Whatever. That didn't count. That, that, that's not a stump, the, the answer. How the fuck would I know that? Okay. We timed this right. We got 10 minutes left. Beautiful. All right, I'll give you another question then. I'll give All you right, another question it. then. All right. Um, gosh, this is difficult. I want to find a good one for you. I I'm had it, and then, I had it, and then you know, who is the oldest player? And bonus point, if you know how old he was, to win the Heisman. Brandon Whedon, twenty-seven, did not win it. No, he didn't. Um, Eric Crouch, nope. Hold on. It's 2000. Not... It's, number... it's 2000. And it's not Eric Crouch. No. Not Brandon Whedon. No. Think about the first question I asked you. Chris Winkie? It was Chris Winkie. 24? 28. 28. Chris Winkie is 28. <laughs> Dude, you can't give a Heisman to a guy 28 years old. I can't believe. Okay. I was. How old was Eric Crouch? I don't know. I thought he was pretty list. old. Okay. And this one is a fun one. Okay. What are the two states in the United States that have never um, sent a school to the NCAA tournament in basketball? There's two states in the United States that have not sent a school from their state to the tournament. Alaska. Alaska is one. This is good. I think we finally got them. Wyoming. It's not Wyoming. South Dakota. It's not South Dakota. One of the Dakotas. It's not one of the Dakotas. Rhode Island. It's not. They're in there every year. Oh, fuck yeah, right. I don't know. Who is it? Also, Providence is in it every year, too. I'm that's not. true. Fuck Providence. That's that's dumb. Who is it? Maine. Really? Maine hasn't sent a team? The Black Bears. They need to step it up. We need to turn that, them around. 
that was I was gonna say Maine first, but I was like, I feel like I always see. And I was gonna say Montana. I was like, no, Montana's on all the time. Maine's Maine's good at football. I think the Maine Black Bears are good at football, but they're not good at basketball. You know, you finally did it. You stumped, I stumped them. Stumped them. All you right, hold on. It. See if you can. We got we got seven minutes left. Let's see. You Give can stump it. me. Let's see if you can stump me. Right, you know, look see. something up. Uh, look I'll something up. We got time. Let me go. Give me one second, and I'm out of here. You're good. No rush. No rush. We have some good ones for you. No rush. What's a sea wolf? A what? Sea wolf. That's the Anchorage basketball team. They're the Sea Wolves, and also Stony Brook is also the Sea Wolves. Make that make sense? There's the University of Alaska Fairbanks and the University of Alaska Anchorage. Bro, I am not going out there to play basketball. Yeah, I'll try to. You know, Imagine what those flights. Wait, there was one that was fucking crazy, and I was like, I was trying to remember what it was. Um, it's not a trivia question, but the, everyone was going around like they had Jim Harbaugh has more rushing yards than Bo Jackson. That's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. I can't. I'm gonna come up with some good ones next week. I'm gonna come up with some. You good can't. Ones. Well, you don't have. You don't have to. Look, you don't have one like in your brain. You can ask me a dumb sports question. We have six minutes. You can't think of anything that no, you. Know. I'm blanking, dude. Dude, how hard is it to be like, what team won the championship? This. What person won this award? This. Exactly. What player has played you know, for this team and this team? I think you've stumped yourself by being I think I've not being able myself. To... I think I think I'm a receiver and not a giver. I think that's what we've learned. I guess. I think I'm a selfish person. I think I'm a selfish person. I don't. This is actually breaking my brain. Just ask me who won like the World Series in X year, like who or college foot. Give me a college football. Give me college football. I feel like I'm going to give you too easy one. Name this can be. This is allowed to be easy. It doesn't have to be hard. I was going to say, name a defensive player that won the Heisman. Can't. Woodson. Yeah. No, because didn't Desmond win it? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Kick return or D-back? I said Woodson. Woodson won it also. So? See, you, you were begging me, you're baiting me, and it, and see it turned out to not look like a fool, not look like a jabroni. No people, aren't, no people won't tell their kids about me, say I was a contender. Oh my god! Another field goal for JMU. It's six to two. I'm literally watching a July Tuesday baseball game right now. You're basically watching. Yeah, you're watching a JMU Marshall. Well, buddy, that's all I got. Okay. Anything else before we head out? No. I hope you have a good week. I hope you lose your some... Miami pick. <laughs> Let's get some winners. I can't wait to discuss them. We've never had it. We've never had a, a a fight on here for it. So I'm excited to see kind of what it looks like. It's good. It's good for the program. Good. It's good to air out the grievances. All right, my man. Have a good week. Let's get some winners. And uh, I'm sure I'll talk to you about a bunch of bets this week. I'm sure I will also. I hope you have a good night. And I'll talk I'm to you later. Bring, I'm going to bring three absolute heater baseball questions next week for you. I'm going to Okay. I'll okay. bring some WNBA questions for you next week. I will pass. Thank you.